we're going to look at powers and another word for powers is exponents. Exponents is the one that a lot of people use, but in New Zealand when most of us use powers. In this one here, you have three to the power of two. Most people think it looks like three times two, and the answer is six. That's actually wrong. So this is how you do powers. Well, that is, this means three is your base, and it's multiplied by itself, that means three, twice. So three times three. This one here has a base of 3, so the things that you're going to multiply are 3s. The power is 4, so you're going to multiply 3 by itself four, oopsies, 4 times. There we go. Okay. So if you have a different base like 5, and you have it to the power of 3, that means the base, which is 5, is multiplied by itself. 5, 3 times. The powers tells you how many times that you multiply itself together. If somebody asks you to evaluate these powers, that means you need to work out the value. Okay, so you're trying to work out the value. But this one here, 3 to the power of 2, which is 3 times 3, you know that 3 times 3 is 9. This one here is 3 to the power of 4, so you know it's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And if you multiply them all together, well, 3 3s are 9. 9 times 3 is 27. And 27, which is all of that, times 3 is 81. Some of us need to use a bit of a calculator for that. But if you evaluate 5 to the power of 3, that would be 5 times 5 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5 is 125. Let's try an easy one. If you had 2 to the power of 4, that would be 2 the base times 2 times 2. And because of the power of 4, there's 4 of them. So 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And if we work that out, we get 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. It is not 8. A lot of people think that if you take 2 times 4, you get 8. That's not the right answer. It's 16.